Hi, I'm Susie Thompson and I'm the potato breeder at North Dakota State University. Today we are outside of Laramore, North Dakota on the farm of Carl Hoverson. He and his sons raise potatoes and a myriad of other crops in this uh, area of Grand Forks County and, and neighboring counties and produce a tremendous amount of irrigated potatoes. And Carl and his family have been very supportive of potato research. Um, and this is brand new pivot that's behind us is the second one that they built in support of potato research. Something that is kind of unique in terms of our research efforts in North Dakota is that the majority of research is actually conducted in grower fields rather than at university research sites. And I think that allows for a little bit of a different perspective and some more uh, real life and real, real world um, scenarios in terms of production. So Carl, tell us a little bit about why potato research is so important to you and your family and uh, feel free to expand that out to the potato industry itself. Hi, uh, potato research is really important to us. We like to have research uh, close to our own uh, location because it gives us an uh, idea of what uh, potato varieties can do in the soils that we produce. So we, that's why I like to be involved with uh, providing plots that are, we think are kind of representative soils of, of the area we're in. We're a process grower for, for a JR Simplex company and uh, they and all the other uh, companies in this area demand higher and higher quality. So in order to do that, we need to have the research to find varieties that work well in this area. We can't uh, always rely on varieties that were raised in the West, like Idaho or Washington, because sometimes they're too long of varieties. And here that we're looking for varieties that do well under the kind of conditions that we have here. And we can see what these conditions are by year by year by watching our test plots. And uh, we have a great team at NDSU. They're a, a second to none, I think, in the, in the world is finding varieties that work real well. And uh, we've got uh, some, uh, a variety of two right now that are, that's looking really promising. Uh, Dakota Russet, for instance, looks really good for the process industry, and we've got uh, several acres of that. Uh, that was developed by uh, NDSU. And the uh, <coughs> reason uh, to be that we're also doing this is that uh, it's getting to be more and more competitive world with the, for quality for french fries. So the, the companies are giving us uh, stricter and stricter and higher and higher goals to meet for uh, quality. And in order to do that, we need varieties that are uh, either uh, immune to some of those issues that they have, like it could be a hollow heart or, or a shatter bruising or black spot bruising or, or some kind of blights or whatever it is, scabs or whatever. So we have to, we need, we need to consistently uh, look for better and better varieties. And that's what they're doing here to, to be, so that we're more profitable, so the company that we sell to is more profitable and the, and the, and the public ends up with a better quality potato. So that's kind of what we're uh, after. So it's very important that we have them here. So if you wonder why we, ha why we, why in my farm, I benefit because this is in the central part of this organization, this farm, and this and uh, this is kind of a representative of the Simplot uh, growers area. So that's why we want to do it. So there are, uh, you talked a lot about uh, new varieties and some of the important attributes. Uh, today, during this virtual field day, there were many researchers that, in addition to the potato breeding program, have research trials under the mini pivot, but they also have trials in some other fields that are around in Carl and his um, son's operation. So that allows not only the selection of the varieties, but it also allows us to learn information that is then shared with all growers about management, whether it be seed piece spacing or the correct order of fungicides to apply to prevent early blight, late blight, black dot, whatever the problems might be. And so this has been a very fun collaboration and an excellent central location for our Northern Plains potato growers. It's one thing to get the varieties that really work well for us, but also remember that all the other support people that, that try to find out uh, problems that we have uh, growing them, like uh, mop top or you know, all the different diseases that are out there so that some, and there, there could be new diseases in the future that we have to deal with. So we need a array of different varieties that we can go to so that, uh, you know, as, as time goes on, we, we can uh, uh, be prosperous in case something happens or we can't grow them anymore for some reason or some disease or something. We, we need to have a, a variety of different varieties that we can uh, go to that can, 
make us successful for the long term. Mm -hmm.